welcome back to my channel i'm going to start off this makeup with my skincare routine i already cleaned my face i'm going to go in and use my favorite products at the moment well my favorite products for a while my elf and my neutrogena moisturizing products i will leave these products linked below if you are interested in what they are but i do have a video up on my skincare routine and it's pretty much the same steps the same products and I'm going to use my Aquaphor to moisturize my lips or to prep my lips for anything later on in the video. Then I'm going to jump off camera and do my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and my e.l.f. concealer. Again, everything that I don't go into detail about will be listed in the description box below. This is my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, my favorite primer at the moment. My favorite primer for a while now, and I'm going to use that in my two-zone area because that's where I would like to be the smoothest. And I'm going to use it everywhere else, um, but just a light layer of it is all I need. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation, my base makeup. It's my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation. It is my favorite to date. I don't even need a full pump. If you can tell right here, I have, I'm not even pushing the nozzle all the way down. And I'm going to use this brush to buff this into my skin. I am a beauty sponge person but i've been loving this brush lately i use it to apply most of the product in the area where i need it the most and then i'm going to blend that out with the brush first and i'm going to blend that everywhere on my face where i need that coverage and then blend out the edges with the brush first after i've done all of my blending with this brush then i'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and soften the edges and i'm going to use a setting spray just to push it into my skin on top of the foundation just to make sure everything is set and everything is smooth and that i don't have any lines after using this brush but i find with this brush i don't get any foundation lines or any streakiness i really like it and i use it i find myself using it all the time now when i am applying my foundation so this is me just spraying my little beauty sponge with some setting spray i'm going to push that into the rest of my makeup and then use that to soften any edges around it and I am revealing my glorious, glorious edges. It took me a minute to master my edges, but I got it done. Um, I am using the same e.l.f. concealer that I used to carve out my eyebrows as my highlighter and to conceal the dark spots under my eyes and applying that in the middle of my forehead as well. And then when I go in and blend it out, I always start with my forehead area first just because I wanna make sure that area is the softest. My forehead is already big, so I don't need to highlight it too much. And then I'm gonna go in with under my eyes last. Now, I apologize if it sounded like I had food in my mouth this whole time. I just realized I had this gum in my mouth and I probably sounded really ghetto. But anyway, after I blend out my concealer around my eyes, I'm first of all, I'm going to make sure that, well, I'm going to use any extra on my chin and then I made sure I blended it onto my eyelid as well. This is the Maybelline instant rewind um or age rewind one of those two i'll list it um just for a little added coverage and a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes to make sure that i blocked out any dark circles and then everywhere where i applied the concealer i'm going to use the La Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is just a little sample one that I got for my birthday. And then everywhere else on my face where I did not highlight, I'm going to use a different setting powder. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to use that to set everywhere else that was not highlighted. This is, the first one was a translucent. This one has a little bit of color to it. Next, I am going in with my Essence Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. I love this palette. I use the different shades for different areas of my face. So that first shade, I'm going around the perimeter and around my cheekbones, if I had any, um, 
to bronze my face and then I'm going to go in with not the darkest shade but the one right before it and I'm going to use that as a contour to contour my jawline and to go and carve out my um jawline a little bit more and I'm going to go under my jaw just to kind of you know get rid of any double chin action going on and then I'm going to use that lightest shade to go over my nose and across my cheeks and that in this area that you see right here because it kind of softens the bronzer and the highlight and it blends it all together and it gives me like a sun-kissed look this is the raw beauty christy x color pop palette i'm using that shade puffball to with a light you no know, with a big fluffy brush and i'm just going to apply that all across my lid just get that color on there not being too precise just getting it on there getting some color on my lid and then I'm going to deepen it with, um, I think the shade is Rainier. Um, I can't remember it, but it is that brownish red looking shade. It has a red tint to it, but it's also like a brown color. And then this palette I did get off Amazon. I will link it. Um, it's a dupe palette, and I'm using that lightest shade in the palette just to go across um, my eyelids. To That's going to be my lid color. Then I'm going to go off camera and use my NYX liner and lashes and mascara from e.l.f. to apply my lashes and my wing liner. These are my favorite lashes at the moment. They are very natural looking. For this look, I should have used something a little bit more dramatic, but it's fine. I love these lashes. They're very comfortable. And then right here, I'm just going in with that same puffball shade just to tie the I look in together and that's pretty much it for my face um, makeup um, going to use that same mascara that I use on my eyelashes the elf one on my bottom lashes just to make them pop a little bit and I'm going to use this is a elf baked highlighter and I like applying this baked highlighter with my finger because I get the best color payoff It's not really good it's not glittery at all it just looks like your skin is glowing and I always apply my highlighter in these areas the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose and then right there in the corner of my eye and then I'm going to use a fluffy brush not a fluffy fluffy brush but like a powder brush to apply the rest of the highlighter to my cheek area um, and then that's all the highlighting that I do and I feel I like the way that looks um, I've played around with my highlighter in the past and this is my go-to now. And then I'm going to take a little bit of blush. This is a e.l.f. blush just to tie in, just to kind of blend that highlighter into my bronzer. Right, and this is my favorite lip liner today. It's um, a NYX lip liner. The shade is cappuccino. So I'm going to line my lips and then apply this terracotta brick red shade from Dose of Colors. Um, I don't know if they still carry this shade, but I will link it if I can find it. Um, and after that, I'm going to set my face. Um, the spray that I used at the moment it's not a current fave it's just one that i have it's a elf stay all night spray it's nothing wrong with it i just prefer a more hydrating um setting spray but i didn't clean off the mister good enough and it kind of sprayed me in the face so that's why i'm just going in with my beauty blender to get rid of any wet marks on my face and then i'm going to dry it down And this is the completed look, just something simple. I just wanted to do a simple bold look. I had this high ponytail. I said, let me get a, a video in before I take it out. I think I took this ponytail out right after I got done to this makeup off. I just need to get a video done. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Until the next time, you will see me then. Peace.